Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL S9 which has to do with finding the area of two shapes and subtracting the shape inside the other shape out. So uh, right here we have a basic problem and most of the problems are going to be pretty much the same format for this IXL. They just get a little more complicated and, and uh, incorporate more shapes as you go. So what we have here is very clearly you see that we have uh, two uh, two squares specifically. And what these problems want you to do is they want you to find the area of just the shaded region. They just want you to find how much area the yellow stuff takes up, okay? And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna find the area of the entire square, all right, pretending that white space didn't exist. We're gonna find the space or the area of the entire square first. And then we're going to try to find the area of the just the white cut out portion. And then we're going to subtract that out. And then all we're left with is the yellow portion after that. So um, I will say the first shape, we'll say the yellow is going to be shape A. And this is going to be shape B right here. So again, for A, we want to find the entire shape's area. So all of this we want to find all of this not just the yellow we want to find everything okay so to do that all we're going to do is find the area of a square which we know is going to equal base times height okay the base of this uh, side is 21 and the height is also 21 because it is a square so we'll have 21 miles times 21 miles and 21 times 21 is 441. And then of course, miles squared. As I pointed out in the last video for S8, uh, we multiply the 21 and the 21 together and we also multiply the miles and the miles together. So miles times miles is just miles squared, right? That's how we get the units for area. Okay, so that's shape A. And then for shape B, we're going to find, uh, again, base times height, because it's a square. So you base times height. Okay, the base of the cutout square is 15. The height is also 15. So 15 miles times 15 miles. So 15 times 15 is 225, and then miles squared. Okay, now the last thing to do is we want to subtract the area of the cutout shape um, from the shape as a whole, and all we are left with is the yellow. So A minus B is what I'll write. So we're just gonna do 441 miles squared minus 225 miles squared. And when we do that, all we are left with is 216 miles squared and that's it so the area of just the yellow is 216 miles squared 216 and there we go okay problem number two so we have the same type of procedure here except instead of two squares we have two triangles so we're going to find the area of the entire triangle A followed by the entire triangle B and then just subtract it out. So area of A is going to be uh, one half base times height or as my students like to think of it as base times height over two. So either way, you're just taking half of the base times the height. So the base of our first triangle, right? The entire triangle is gonna be 30.2. So we'll do 30.2 centimeters times the height, the height of the entire thing is 33.6. So we'll do 33.6 centimeters and divide everything by two. Okay, now I will use my calculator for this one because the decimals, 30.2 times 33.6 and then divided by two, that is going to equal 
36 centimeters cubed or squared, I meant. Okay, good. So that's the entire triangle, and now we're going to do the cutout triangle in the middle, so the white triangle. So we'll do B. B again is a triangle, so we're going to do base times height over 2. So the base of this triangle is going to be 22.4 centimeters times the height is 24.4, so 24.4 centimeters, and then all over 2, of course. Okay, and typing that in, 22.4 times 24.4 divided by 2 is going to equal 273.28 centimeters squared. Okay, and now all we have left to do is subtract A from B. So 507.36 centimeters squared minus 273.28 centimeters squared equals what? Let's find out. 507.36 subtract 273.28 and we are left with 200 and 34.08 centimeters squared. Okay, and that's what's going to be left. So 234.08, 234.08, and that is correct. Good. Okay, and now we have a circle here. This is going to be our next part. So uh, it says both circles have the same center, which is great, and the circumference of the inner circle is 64.056 meters. So the circumference, remember, is just the distance around the entire circle. It's the perimeter. So saying the perimeter of this circle, the circumference of this circle right here is 64.056 meters. And it wants us to find the area of the shaded region, so the area here. Okay. So idealistically, we want to do the same kind of process. We're going to find the area of both shapes in the end. Okay, and how we're going to do that is one, we're going to find the area of the entire circle first, and two, we'll find the area of the uh, second smaller circle, which will take a little bit uh, more work, as you'll see uh, soon. But first, we'll start with A for the entire thing, and then B down here. So A, uh, circle A, or I'll just say the shape A, uh, area of a circle is pi r squared, so we'll just, we just want pi times radius squared. Okay, and for pi we're going to use 3.14, like always. And then the radius of our uh, large circle, well, it's unknown right now, right? We have a distance here, um, but we don't have the distance all the way from this point to the edge of the circle, or anywhere around. Okay, so we're gonna kind of put a pause on that one. Let's go to B. And we don't have any information for B either, except for the circumference. Okay, so the area for B, we're also gonna want pi r squared, but we're gonna make a side, uh, little side note down here and do some work because we might not have the radius or anything, but we do have the circumference and we can pull information like the radius from our circumference. So. We know that the circumference of a small circle is 60. Oop, we'll do erase that. Circumference equals 64.056 meters. And the formula for circumference, I'll write it here, is either pi times d or 2 pi r. Okay? So we know that C equals 64.056, and we'll plug that into the formula. So we'll do 64.056 meters equals 2 pi r. And from here, we can get r by itself and uh, figure out what our radius is. So we'll divide both sides by 2 pi, like that, and like that, okay? 
two pi's cancel out and all we are left with is radius equals and again we're going to type this into a calculator we have 64.056 uh, divided by 2 and then divided by 3.14 and that is going to equal 10.2 10.2 uh, meters. Great. Okay. So we have the radius now of our circle. So I'll draw a little red line here from our center to the edge of the small circle, and that's going to be 10.2. Great. So let's go back to our first shape, right? Circle A, the entirety of circle A. Now do we have the entire radius of the uh, circle? Yes, we do. Right? We have the distance from the center here all the way to this edge of the circle. We have 10.2 plus 11.2, uh, and that is going to equal, the entire thing is going to equal 21.4 meters. Okay, that's the radius here. So we go back to uh, the problem we stopped. We go 3.14 times our radius squared. So our radius, again, is 21.4. Uh, meters and then we're going to square everything here. here here let me do this because we want to square the units as well all squared okay so when we do that we're going to multiply 21.4 times 21.4 times 3.14 and that is going to come out to be 1,437.99 and four. We'll stop there. Okay, and that's gonna be meters squared because that's the area, right? Great, now we're gonna to go to the area of our smaller circle here. We have pi times the radius squared, so we'll do pi then we already found the radius of our small circle, that's just 10.2. So we'll do times 10.2 meters. Again, all squared. And that is gonna equal, uh, we got 10.2 times 10.2 times 3.14. And that is going to equal 326 points six, eight, six, and then meters squared. Okay, finally, uh, we can figure out the area of the shaded region now by just doing A minus B. So we're gonna subtract out the white from the blue, A minus B, which is 1,437.99 uh, meters squared minus 326.686 meters squared. And uh, we're gonna break out the calculator again here. 1437.994 minus 326.686. And that is going to equal That is going to equal 1,111, that's easy, 0 0.308 meters squared. Okay, so we're gonna come back here, and it says the round the decimal to the nearest th uh, hundredth. So we're gonna go back and just check that answer. 1,100, 1111 dot and we'll, we'll do 31 and that is correct okay good so this one same uh, same problem as before uh, except this is a rect rectangle so we'll find the area of the entire rectangle first then the area of the smaller one is subtracted out nothing new there same thing two rectangles and that's as high as it let me goes but uh, that's pretty much the difficulty. You're just going to see a series of shapes. They're 
pretty much always going to be the same shape, I believe, so that you won't have to mix up formulas. You find the area of the larger shape, the entire shape, and then the area of the smaller shape, and then subtract that smaller shape out. That's all it is, okay? I'm going to end the video there. So study hard, stay safe, and I'll see you next time on the next iExcel tutorial. Take care and goodbye.